out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and we're going to be fishing these giant spoons. Let's see what bites this thing. I've got this 12 ounce stainless steel spoon. Daniel's got a 4 ounce. We also have an 8 ounce that we're not using. So let's see how these look when they get in the water. I've never used anything like this before. Hey, they look good when they drop. Here we go, 12 ounce are going in. Daniel with the four. It's 140 feet here, so let's see how long this takes to drop. It's a super slow flutter, even with 12 ounces. Still dropping. Still dropping. 140 feet. Okay, I'm on bottom. Oh, got a fish on. Yeah, baby. Fish on. Oh, no, really? Yeah, that's a good one. Let's go. First drop. That's got to be a ling. What bit this spoon? That's got to be a ling. Oh, I got a fish on, too. Nice. <laughs> Daniel with one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. What do we have here? Let's see. Not a bad one. Yeah, this one's pretty good too, I think. Yeah. They're not fighting like rockfish, actually. This one's not really fighting either. Yeah. You got this. Oh, I got a, Yeah, it's a ling on the middle hook. A <laughs> little, little ling. Okay. Well. Oh, that's it. We know ling. Oh, nice. Oh, little that's canary. A, yeah, that's a bad canary. All right. Hey, I was. Th <laughs> This look at that little ling <laughs> biting this spoon about as big as him. First drop, baby. First drop. We can keep that one, huh? Yeah, That's yeah. a good one. I'll let this little ling cod go. They need to be t 22 inches, as you know. Oh, look at the fish finder. Oh my goodness. That's how it looks. So that's what I was thinking. This big spoon would catch a ling cod. I mean, ling cod catch eat big smelt. We've seen them eat big salmon on a on underwater camera. So. How you like the spoon so far? Love it, dude. It's crazy. Uh, I love the flutter of it going down. I, I don't think I've ever seen a spoon flutter like that. It's almost got, man, to me, like a perfect action. It's, really. Yeah, it flutters so nice and just evenly down. All right, we're, we're in a good spot now. So once you get down to the bottom, shouldn't take long. Oh, dude, just dropped. Oh, that was a snag. That was a snag. It might be seaweed, but yeah. All right. Nice. Oh, I got one too. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh, this is Lincot. Oh. I think. Oh my goodness. What was that? Oh wow, dude! Look at that. Use them for live bait, but I'll let them go. Surprise that little fish bit on the spoon. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Some type of fish. He's fighting a little bit. Could it be another little ling? I'm trying to get some monsters with this big spoon. I'm trying to have this jig go down in history as the jig that catches the most rockfish. That's a nice rockfish, though. That is a nice one. We'll keep that, huh? That's a big brown. What is that? That's a, that's a copper, isn't it? Copper. The copper. You're only allowed in California one of these currently. Last year you were allowed five or a million, this year you're only allowed four. So that's a nice one. We're gonna keep a bunch of fish today. Actually, that, yeah, that might be a brown, actually, not a copper. Oh! Yeah. Another nice canary, like another same size. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. All right, oh, that's a fish, that's a fish. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah that's a decent one. That's a decent one. Uh, I think this is the best one so far. I'm gonna say it's a vermilion. I'm gonna think it's a big red fish. Let's see what we got. Feels good. This feels good. It's not a monster, but we're gonna get monsters. I hope. The cool thing about this spoon is that it's 100% stainless steel. And steel is a, a rock fish. Dude, look. Maybe that's why I wasn't getting anything. I got like a snail or something. See that? What is that? Oh yeah, I hooked a snail. 
Yeah. Huh. So earlier I was snagged, but look at that. Like some kind of a snail looking thing. And this canary, it's a little small. Nice fish, but still gonna release it. We're looking for the really big ones today. So there are 12 ounce jigs that are shaped like a needle. They're made out of lead and they drop down so fast. But I like this because it's made out of stainless steel, which is about 20 to 25% lighter than lead. So you can go bigger and have the same weight and this will flutter down super slow. So, oh, look at that, Daniel. Oh, that's a fish. That is a big fish and we're about to get him. Oh, I think it's very snaggy down there. I think it's a lot of those uh, seaweed things. Oh, that feels like a bite. <laughs> It's this, I think it's those starfish things or whatever they are. How about that? That's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Okay. okay. Might even need the gaff for this one. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice one. This is like a 23, no, no, like a 32 inch ling. Yeah, oh, he's got some weight on it. Oh, yeah, baby. First ling on the 12 inch stainless steel catch and cook spoon oh here it is that's a nice what is that ling, that's ling? yeah oh yeah that's a nice one that's a keeper oh. there he goes a little bit all right all right i think i could just lip him in pull him in yeah yeah baby. ling god on the spoon Woo. nice oh oh yeah he is Hook pops right out. Look at that. He was hungry. He was a hungry, hungry fish. Bleed him. Get some more, man. You know, it's funny. This idea for the spoon actually came to be when Daniel and I were fishing on a boat. And we were talking about how lingcod, they would really eat just about anything. And thinking about just a funny, cool type of lure, kind of just came up with the spoon. I mean, everything else is called a spoon. Why not make it? as bright and shiny as possible and as big and obnoxious as possible you get it in front of their face they're going to bite it and i think the bigger it is the more chance you'll get a bigger lingcod or a bigger fish too so we got a few more hours to fish and we're going to try to get our limits of rockfish and lingcod on the spoon today i feel like i have a small fish on can't tell though Mine is not fighting at all, probably like a starfish. Oh, dude, look. Freaking sea anemone, or a sea cucumber. Look at that. Sea cucumber. Oh, that's a big Oh, wow, that's a nice one, dude. That's a really nice rockfish. Yeah, that's Man. A, Look at the lips. They're like super yellow, super bright. Sheesh. Yeah, and... This uh, sea cucumber right here, my wife would probably tell me, Sarah, she'd probably tell me to keep this, so I am going to keep it. Uh, in Korea, right? Yeah, they're, they're pretty big in Korea. Yeah. Nice. Just got to pass that little school again. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, there it is. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. That's a rock. Rock fish. Rock fish. That's not a bad one, though. Oh, I got one, too. Oh, it came off. It came oh, off. Double dropped. up one time. Dropped down. Oh, there he is again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, pull him up. oh that's another okay. canary. Decent. Yeah, definitely a good one. Keep them all? Yeah. That's another, good pretty, another pretty good one. Yeah. Spoon is putting in work today, man. It is, it is. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, bling. Oh, yeah, he's fighting. He's got some head shakes on him. Yee-hoo! Is this ling number two? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, dang, look at this canary, dude. Holy cow. Oh, man, look at wow, that. that's a piece. There's Daniel, too. Look, look, Daniel's on a nice one right now. Oh, this one is massive. That's a nice canary. That's a very nice wow. canary. Yo, this yeah, what you got there? You got you need a gaff? Probably. All right, I got you. Let me bonk this guy first. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. oh, 
That's a nice one. Yes. On the spoon. Wow, what a canary. Dude, this canary is like almost as big as the ling. So I didn't mention it yet, but I did have a bunch of these made. So if you want to pick one up just for a novelty or even to fish it, because they do work, you know where to get them, fishermanslife.net. But we got we got a couple more. Oh, fish on. I have the street fair, Fisherman's Life Street Fair. We're doing this every year. This is the second annual street fair. Fish on. Uh, good fish, good fish, good fish. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, good little rockfish, or probably a, oh yeah, this is a good one. We're having the street fair, and I'm gonna release these first there, but if you'd like to order one, you can uh, get it, you can pre-order at fishermanslife.net. What is it, what do we have here? Oh, what's that, Daniel? Gopher? Brown. brown? Yeah, that's brown. Oh. So you're getting snagged down there? Flip him. Okay. Woo! Nice! Okay. Another good one. Two eight ounces going down at the same time. Who's gonna get bit first? A little bit off of our spot. But it doesn't matter when you got fish like this. What is it? Oh. Oh, it's just, oh okay. Barely hooked, but that's a that's a brown. Brown rock fish. Before anyone says anything, most of the time we don't keep all the fish we catch. Usually we release a lot of the big ones, but today we're gonna stock up our freezers. So let's see how many we got so far. One, two, three, four, five in here. Six, seven, eight. Bro, this canary is crazy big. She had nine. We got one ling inside there. There's two. And three. So nine rockfish. Nine nine rockfish, three links so far. Remember, I was saying it was 150 feet. Well, this goes up to 100, so we're right at that drop-off. Where there's that change in depth, that's where a lot of the times the fish hang out. Oh, look at that. 150 to 120. See, it's nice to be in your own boat or your own inflatable or even a kayak, because when you're on a party boat, they won't back troll for you. So when you go over a high spot, you get snagged, that's, that's it. But if you're on your own boat, you go over a high spot, you get snagged, you can back up, back over it. Or if the drift is too fast, just keep it in reverse and you'll be able to fish in that strike zone a little bit longer. Oh, got him. Oh, that was my fish. <laughs> That's a nice, nice rockfish, nice rockfish, nice rockfish. What we got here, what we got? Oh, ah, oh, dude. I'm the Ling King. That's, uh, uh, nah, that's not a Ling King right there. All right, see you later. Too small. All right, we came in a little bit shallow. I was tempted to throw on the four, but we're gonna end the day with the big old one, the 12. I mean, that's what we all came here to see, right? So throw out the 12. Rocky down there, it's only 50 feet. But like I said, this thing flutters so slow, even though it's 12 ounces, it's like the equivalent of like a three ounce jig. Fish on. <laughs> yeah. On the 12 ounce? On the 12 ounce in 30 feet of water. Oh, nice, look at that. That's a good, look at that dude. That's a, yeah. I'm really surprised that these rockfish are hitting the 12 ounce jig in 30 feet of water. Oh God. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. It took oh. the four ounce. Oh, best fish of the day. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a big cab. That's a huge cabbie. Uh, BB cab? Mmm, might be. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah.
Oh my god. How heavy do you think that oh is? Oh my god. I don't know. Oh my god. 10 I'm pounder? Still, That's a 10 pounder probably. I'm still amazed. He's barely hooked. He's going to pop right off. Wow. That's a big cabazon. 10 pounder. Well, we're almost at our limit. If we can get one more fish, we'll have the limit today on the spoon. Pretty good. It shaped up to be a beautiful day. Calm down, no more fog, no more chop. Should be a very nice ride back in. Let's see if we can get one more. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Ling or Cabazon. That's how we're gonna end the day. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's not fighting, it's a ling. It, what is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, I got a leader. I got a leader. Oh, look, look, look. Look, Ca Cabazon on a spoon. There go. Not as big as Daniel's, but hey, it's all good. That's added to our rockfish collection. Both got a Cabazon. Bunch of nice rockfish. Stainless steel. Won't corrode. And you can eat with it. Well, we were making a run back in. We saw some birds diving, so we thought it might be a good opportunity to try this spoon for salmon. All right, we're trolling. Got two rods trolling. One with a normal salmon spoon and another one with the edibles, the spoon you can use to eat with. Pinch the barbs on that one, of course. Oh, good fish. Do you see that? Do you see that? I, I see that, I see Do you that. see that? You ready? Here we go. Nice. Oh, nice, dude. Boys. I'm not tripping about the spoon. I'm just trying to get a couple salmon while we're up here. Might as well, right? This is a tuna rod. This is my yellowtail rod that I brought for rockfish. So it's so stiff. Only the tip bends. It's a super fast action. It's a 15 to 30 pound line. Oh, you know, like, so it's like a broomstick, basically. It's like, it's, you're basically fighting the fish with a gaff and there's no give, so it can just pop off really easily. Maybe, maybe. Let him, let him go. You don't want to keep him, right? God, I don't even want to look, dude. <laughs> don't even want to look. It's so hard with this rockfish rod. There we go. Give me more. Yeah! Got one. All right, it's not huge. Right. Well, we'll take it. We'll take something. it. Something. Yeah, definitely. Nope, 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 nope. Right there, right there, right there. Get up. Go. <laughs> oh, I got stuck on the. <laughs> oh, I should have took it off. No, I didn't realize I forgot. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's a good oh. one! Oh guys, going to the motor, bro. Come over here. Come over here. Stay down. God, I just hope he's hooked well. I don't have an angle here. to net him. Here, here, you ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm kinda ready. Here we go, here we go. Here no, we go. no, get him down, get him down, get him down! Get him down, dude. Get him down. All right, we gotta do something because we can't net it's him like this. One? It's a big one, dude. We can't net him like this. You gotta, yeah, you gotta stay out. He almost hit the boat. Oh, go back. Step back. Step back. Ready? 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 Yeah, I'm ready. ready. Bring him up. Here we go. Here we go. Got him? <laughs> yeah, I got him. You got him? Yeah. Woo! That's a good one, dude. Woo! That's probably 22. Woo! That's a, such wow. a that's a nice one. Wow. On the on the tuna rod, baby! <laughs> on the tuna rod, baby! <laughs> on the tuna rod, baby! This is a nice Wow! Thing. What a chunker! Yeah. That guy is thick. That 
Wow. Wow. Insane today, man. Yeah, dude. PB cabby. Big old salmon, not even playing for it. Jeez. Oh, that might be 23. Dang, I guess the spoon doesn't work that well for trolling for salmon, but maybe it could in another world. Definitely works well for rockfish. So again, these are coming out on August 6th in San Francisco at Fisherman's Life Street Fair, 37th Avenue between Pacheco and Ortega. Come by and get them if you want them. Otherwise, they'll be available after that online. But first come, first serve at the Street Fair. Hope to see you guys there. Peace.